Hey guys, it's Sloan. Welcome to my very first yoga class on the blog. Actually, I don't think that's true. I think I did one a little while ago in my living room. Um, today, since it's the first one, I'm going to start with breaking down the basics. So, um, the foundations that you set in your practice need to be safe and they need to be in alignment. And a lot of times they're, um, they're not. <laughs> Like you think you're doing down dog, but you're really hurting yourself. So today I'm going to really break down all of the basic poses and um, show you how to really do them right and really get your body in the correct alignment to move forward and um, maybe throw together a little flow at the end. We'll see. And then we'll build on that in the coming weeks. So um, let's get on your mats. So the easiest pose to start with is actually standing its Tadasana. So it's going to be mountain pose. So you take your feet and you want the edges of your big toes to touch your heels to be apart. Spread your toes apart as far as they'll go. And then you want to press out with your legs so that you're engaging this area of your legs. And you have room to drop your tailbone down and pull your chest up. Lift your shoulders up to your ears, roll them back, let your arms fall down to your side. Tuck your belly in if you have a tendency to arch your back when you bolt. Tuck your chin forward, look straight ahead and just breathe. Palms are facing forward, feet are rooting down. And you want to feel as if there's something pulling your spine from the top of your head all the way up to the ceiling. Oops. <laughs> Gonna be fun. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now that we're rooted here, inhale, lift your arms up over your head. Maybe give your gaze a little lift up too. And then fold forward, hinge at your hips, keep your feet grounding down, you have your hips spreading apart. And fold forward. And here I'm going to come to the side so you can see. When you're folding forward, some people have a tendency, especially if you have tight hamstrings, to fold from here so that you're straining your back. And what you really want to do with your forward fold is lengthen your entire spine. So if that means you have to bend your knees so that you're hinging from your hips and you can get this long line all the way from your tailbone to the top of your head, if that's what you want to do. If that means you're bending all the way your knees to here, that's awesome. If you can straighten, go ahead and do that. And again, you want to press the outer edges of your feet, the outer edges of your shin and your quads out, so that it engages all the way up into your hips. On an inhale, lift up. Flatten your back, head reaches forward, pull your belly in, and roll kind of towards the balls of your feet. Exhale, bend your knees, fold back in. And you're going to straighten your legs, flatten your spine, and we're going to lift all the way up one more time. Exhale your hands down, practice Tadasana one more time. Tuck your tailbone under. Chin tucks as well. This is going to be really annoying. Sorry. First try. <laughs> and then we'll go to down dog. So fold forward at your hips. Walk your hands out probably farther than you think you need to. Step your feet back. And you want to make sure that your hands are reaching forward. So you don't want your hands to be turned out like this. And you don't want them turned in either, because that's just funky. So you're going to probably use your index finger to be your pointer finger, not your middle. Because I'm going to come this so you can see. And here, Lift up on your toes, all the way up high, and then reach your heels down so that it opens up your hamstrings 
all the way. And if your heels don't touch the ground, that's totally okay. And then, with your upper body, you want to make sure your arms are straight. You don't want to be bending your arms. And also, we have a tendency to do this, right? So you drop your belly in your chest. What you want to do is melt your heart and lift your belly so that you're here. And you're not dumping down into your shoulders, but you're actively engaged through your core, through your arms, and all the way through your legs. Let your head fall down. Arms are strong. And then a lot of times, let me come through over again so you can see. A lot of times people are up here like this. And your shoulders are up around your ears. You want to melt your shoulder blades down your back so that you have space between your shoulders and your ears. So that you're free here. So you're engaged in rooting with your hands and your feet. Your legs are again pressing apart, heels reaching toward the back of the room. Your arms are engaged, but your shoulders are soft. Your head is soft, your neck is soft. Then, it's <laughs> awesome. From down dog, you're gonna walk your hands back to your feet. Again, fold in here. Inhale to that flat back. You can put, put your hands on your calves if you need. And exhale, fold in. Inhale. Root down with your feet first and lift up all the way back to standing. Arms up overhead. Tuck your tail up. Exhale. Bring your hands back around to center. So the next thing we're going to work on is crescent lunge. And it's the foundation for um, the next couple poses, the warrior poses, and that kind of thing. So it's really the foundation of all the standing poses. So come to the back of your mat. And it's easiest to get into this from down dog, so that's what I'm going to do. Fold forward, walk your hands out. Press into your down dog. Then lift your heel up to the ceiling. And here you want to make sure you're lifting with your inner thigh and not cranking up like this. So your heel still points up towards the corner of the back wall. And then bring it into your nose and drop your foot in between your hands. You want to make sure you're solid here. You can spread your feet apart from each other. And then the next thing that a lot of people have a tendency to do, actually this looks like, so you can see this better, is to open up like this. But you want to scissor your legs so that your hips are in line with each other. And make sure... You didn't hear that. <laughs> make sure that when you're here, your leg in the back is totally straight and totally engaged. So right now, I'm pretty firm in my thigh and my calf and my hamstring all the way up into my glutes. So I'm not bent like this. So you're fully engaged. And you want to extend your chest forward, and on an inhale, rise yourself up. So you're here, and then you can sink down into your front leg even more so that your thigh comes parallel to the ground. Tuck your tailbone, tuck your ribs so that your shoulders are perfectly aligned over your hips. And again, if you've opened up, scissor those hips forward. So your front hip is going to come back, your back hip is going to come forward, and sink on down. And here, especially if it's the first one, you can kind of bend your back knee and then straighten it, and bend your back knee and then straighten it. And that helps you get into the right alignment in the pose and still find a little bit more opening through your psoas here. So, inhale the arms up. And if you have a tendency here to again sway the back, that's not where you want to be. Tuck your tailbone under. Yet again, bring your ribbons in. If you're poking out like this, you can see the ends of your ribs. Pull them in. 
You're going to take your left foot, point your toes towards the front of your mat. Your other toes are going to be perpendicular. And then just step your foot back so that you're almost to the edge of your mat by a really long line, so I have to take your really long stance. But you want your heel in front and your line with the arch in the back. And then sink into your front hip so that your knee and thigh are parallel to the ground. Again, you don't want to be here, right? But make sure that there's a right angle with your knee in the ground. The outer edge of the back toes are reaching towards the ground. And then you want to center yourself directly over your hips here. So a lot of times people will be leaned too forward or they'll be back here. You want to make sure that you're totally centered and straight over so that you're opening your, both your inner thighs. Spread your arms, sink in, lift your chest, and then squeeze your shoulder blades back and soften them down. Then take your gaze and come right over the middle of the front finger and just let it rest there and breathe. And then I'm going to get, come to the side so you can see this. Or maybe a little better. We'll see. Yeah. So, with your chest, you don't want to be moved out here. But, you want to make sure that you're tucked in and your chest is lifted, but you're engaged through your core so that it's one straight line directly over your hips. You're not here, not here, not here, not here, but just right in the middle. And this is great because once you're in this position, then you can do all your reverse warriors, crescent lunges, all that good stuff. You don't ever have to move your legs. So, that's basically what you need to know for now. It's kind of going to be the basis of all our poses. Um, and now I'm going to take you through a quick little flow. I'm working on all those. I'm going to mess with this because I don't want it to go away. <laughs> and I'm really sorry about how kind of shoddy this video is. Like I said, it's the first try. It's a learning opportunity. I'll get it better, I swear. You come for the yoga, not for the technological advances, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Start at the back of your mat, standing into the asana. Spread your toes apart, press your outer legs apart. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, fold forward into the hips, keep your back straight. Fold in, maybe bend your knees. Drop to your knees, lower down. 
Lift up to cobra. Exhale, lower down. Press back up. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Bring it into your nose with the core. Exhale, push it back. Inhale, bring it into your nose. Give it a kiss. Step it through. Set your legs. Lift your heart. Inhale, press a punch. Settle in. Exhale, hands plant down. Legs steps back. Toes come forward. Lower down, chaturanga. Flip your toes. Upward facing. Exhale, lift your hips high. Downward facing. Walk your hands back to your feet. Fold in. Couple breaths here. Make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your nose here. Just see if you can make it audible. See if you can hear it. Bend your knees a lot. Clasp your hands behind you. If not, you grab your elbows. But if you can cross your hands, then try and straighten your arms up. Then try and straighten your legs. Dangle your head. Bring those shoulders up. Feel so good. Exhale. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, fold. I'm going to kill this thing. See, I can say mean things and still use my yoga voice, right? Walk your hands up. Press into your downward facing dog. This time, left leg goes past. Bring it forward, step through. Spin your back heel down so that you're ready for your warrior two pose. Windmill your arms up. Check in. Settle in. Get centered. Good. Inhale. Reach forward. Then scoop it back over your back leg. Keep your legs exactly as they are. Maybe lift up onto your elbow. Exhale. Back to where you're two. One more time. Reach it forward. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Wingle your arms down, step back to plank, reach forward, lower down, flip your toes, roll your shoulders open, open your heart, exhale, downward facing dog. Right side, lift up high, bring it forward in between your hands, spin your back heel down, set yourself up, and come up. Warrior two. Settle in. Reach forward. Scoop it back. Maybe you want to go. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Scoop it back. Open up that whole side body. Exhale, warrior two. Forward. Spin your hands down, freeing your feet. Back onto your back toes. Step back. Reach forward. Lower down. Flip your toes. Exhale. Downward facing. Okay. So that's a basic flow. It's pretty simple. It's basically just a sun salutation with a little variation there with the warrior two instead of warrior one. Um, so that's going to be basically what we're doing. I'll obviously mix up more poses. Um, it'll obviously be longer, some of them will be harder. Um, and I'll definitely be working on trying to bring some more fun into it. Like I said, this is the first try. Um, and it was really just to give you kind of a breakdown of some of the poses that we're going to be working with. So, you know these basic ones? You're pretty much going to be able to do anything that I tell you to do later on. So, moving on, the most important part of yoga is Svasana. So, come down onto your bum. Take a deep breath. 
Then stretch your legs out in front of you. Roll down onto your back. You don't really need any instruction for this. But open up your legs, let your toes fall apart. Your palms are up. Your whole body is relaxed. And Shavasana is so important because it gives your body a chance to integrate all that you've just done. So you've done all this work, you've done all this excavation, you've done all this detoxing, and you've created new space and new energy in your body with your yoga practice. And Shavasana is the time to integrate all of that. So if you're one of those who you do the yoga and you don't really like the laying down part, <laughs> you're missing out. You're not really getting any of the benefits to not giving your body a chance to um, feel what it's just created. So you've done all this work and then you just go back out into the world without giving yourself a chance to let it all settle in. So take a minute to sit in Shavasana and just breathe. And just breathe normally. And then start to feel in your heart, if you can feel your heart. Inside your chest, maybe inside your neck. And then bring your attention out to your palms and see if there's any energy there. See what you can feel just in your fingertips. And then think about the bottoms of your feet. Same thing. Can you feel any energy down there? Can you feel anything in the tips of your toes? And then bring your attention all the way up to the crown of your head. And again, you might not notice anything. You might think I'm a crazy person. That's okay. But maybe you feel a little bit of space in your body now that wasn't there before. And then take a deep breath. And take one more. Big, deep breath. Exhale, let it out. A big sigh. Then <sighs> roll over to your side. And then come up to a seated position. Cross your legs in front of you, or maybe just sit your ankles in front. You're like this. And then bring your hands to the center. Inhale. Exhale. And bring your palms up to your forehead. Lighten me, honors the light in all of you. Namaste. Thanks for watching. I know this was a little ridiculous. I promise it'll be better next time. But I did give you good information, I hope. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.